Ryogoku e Yokozo. Welcome to the Yogoku. This district in Tokyo is known for its historical and cultural significance, specifically sumo wrestling. Yes, that's right, this area is considered the heartland of sumo wrestling in Japan. If you are in the area, you'll see plenty of sumo wrestlers casually walking around. I didn't have the time to check out the area, but if you do, there are temples, gardens, and museums. I'm sure you guys have seen his art style before. But there is a famous museum called Sumida Hokusai, specifically dedicated to a renowned artist who created the iconic The Great Wave of Kanagawa and The Dream of the Fisherman's Wife, which you can say it's the first rated R work with women and an octopus. Our hotel is right across the Yokoku Kokugigan, which is the primary sumo area where major sumo tournaments take place. Sumo stables, where sumo wrestlers live and also train, are also located in the area. Now that we have settled in, it's time to head out again. Akihabara is a district located in central Tokyo, Japan. In English, Akihabara is often referred to as the electric town. It is renowned for its numerous electronic shops, anime and manga stores, gaming centers, and a vibrant otaku culture. The area is a popular destination for those interested in technology, pop culture, and entertainment related merchandise. If you visit this area, make sure to visit a maid cafe. We went to Cure Maid Cafe and I was really excited to try their chicken katsu. But they sold out so quickly! So I ended up getting the white sauce omurice while Jason got the demi glass sauce. Sadly, I wasn't allowed to film the maid so I don't have any footage apart from the food. I went to check out some anime merchandise and cosplay for Halloween. But I didn't really end up finding anything that piqued my interest. Since we are both in the area, we thought, why not visit a rated R store? Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to go upstairs, but Jason ventured to the forbidden floor, exclusive for men. Apparently, Japanese men find it shameful to be witnessed by women when they purchase or browse these items, so that's why women aren't allowed to go. In the end, we decided to purchase something unique. An egg from the gacha pawn machine. You know, those capsule toys? A friend recommended it and gave a really good review. So we figured, why not? We have a 500 yen to use anyways. Which egg did you get? Coco! Did you just see Coco? After seeing a plushie that looks exactly like my rabbit Coco, I went to search for the adorable white bunny in a claw machine store. 
Little did I know this building had like a gazillion floors filled with endless claw machines. After what felt like an eternity of hunting, we finally spotted it. Now the real challenge began, winning it. So close, yet so far. It wasn't as easy as it looked. We almost gave up, but after our 11th attempt, we miraculously managed to get it. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I got the hump, no. Since this area is known for its electronic, we decided to check out a huge big camera store. I really needed a new external hard drive to store all my videos. Currently, I have a 5TB hard drive, but I'm starting to run out of room. So I'm considering buying another one that's 5TB or more. Jason decided to compare prices on Amazon and do the math to see what was cheaper. It turns out it was cheaper to buy it on Amazon than in Japan, even with the tax refund. Our shopping basket started to pile up with items. We ended up buying a bunch of snacks and gifts. I finally decided to buy an electric fan for this hot weather in Japan. I wanted to buy more, but I realized our large checked bags are in Kyoto. We were both pretty concerned that we wouldn't have room to fit all this in our current bags. Oh, and that fan I bought? Well, it was sealed up along with all the other consumable products, so I couldn't use it. Also, don't forget, I have to bring cocoa with me. For dinner, we are going to Tapanyaki 10 at Ginza 6. This place was recommended by Reddit, so we have high hopes. Can you stun on this one? It's pretty cool. Similar to department malls in Korea, they have the top floor dedicated to restaurants. 